Hey trader, you want to learn how to uh, find the targets in the Forex? Uh, you need to remember that you should never make an entry unless you know the exit. And uh, how do I do that? If you want to know how to do that, watch the rest of this video. Okay, so here I am on uh, the uh, uh, Dollar Swissy headed up. Now there are many ways to find uh, targets, okay? So one of them is to, uh, is to um, uh, take this back move right here. And we're going to do all of them. You'll see which one did the market use. So I'm going to click from the swing low to that swing high. Okay. And once you get the pull back here to the 382, as you see, they're trying to go up. They're back to the 382. And you can see MACD over here is trying to tell you to go up. So what you now know is that uh, that uh, we're, uh, we bounced again on a 382, third time. And you can see MACD down here is telling you you are trying to go to the upside. All right. Now it hasn't broken the zero line, but uh, we start with the assumption. Okay, so we can see this is a target and this is a target. This is the extension right there. So that's one set of targets to the top. All right. So uh, then another way to do it is to uh, uh, take this first pullback right here. All right. Use your fib extension key and you go one, two, three. And now you get this target, this target, and the 2.618 up here. Okay, so now you've got a different set of targets right there. All right. Now the other thing you can use, uh, which we use every day, is the ATR. And the ATR is highly, highly statistically valid piece of information because it uh, measures it over a 14-day period. And uh, you can see it right here. So we're measuring on a, a seven day, 14, 90, 180 day in the average right here. All right. So I'm on the dollar Swissy. So we go down here and the dollar Swissy has 106 pip uh, 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 average movement every day. All right. And the average is 95 over the long haul. And right now it's doing 106. OK, we just put this out of the way. And so uh, the ATR starts at the New York fix, which is five o'clock yesterday. So there's a 1600 candle. I click on the bottom because that's the open and I go up for the amount that the ATR says we're going 106 pips. All right. So I'm a buyer for 106 pips. 106. OK. Now, as you can see, I have all kinds of targets here. All right. So where's the currency going to go? Well, it's statistically probable to go to this one. It may stall here because we have a Fibonacci here and we also got a top here. It may stall here because that's 100% of that move right there. And it may blow to the ATR and go ahead and go up to the 2.618 or maybe the 270. But even, no matter what, I can make a business decision here because if it only goes to there, here's my risk. If it goes to there, this is a no brainer. And if it goes to the target or this target up here, it's still a no brainer, all right? Because we have risk to reward. So let's just go see what happens as we work the currency up. And as you see, they know that target. They knew that target to the pip, all right? Break here and it blew right on through and went right up to the ATR target. See that? All right, now you knew that ahead of time. So go practice it. It'll make you some money.